published 0444 EDT, the 1st of November 2017, updated 1344 EDT, the 1st of November 2017, Victoria Silly is pictured arriving at Winchester Crown Court last month, an army sergeant accused of trying to murder his wife by tampering with her parachute told a court today she had previously tried to commit suicide. Army Sergeant Emile Silias, of the Royal Army Physical Training Corps, is accused of tampering with his wife Victoria's hire kit, allegedly twisting the lines of the main parachute and removing some slings from the reserve. The 42-year-old survived spiraling to earth at high speed after she cut away her main parachute and her reserve chute failed during the jump at the Army Parachute Association in Wiltshire. But her husband told Winchester Crown Court today his wife told him she made an unsuccessful attempt on her own life when they were not together. Yesterday Victoria Silias said she was very emotional when she carried out the test jump to see if she would return to skydiving regularly after becoming a mother. But she told the jury trying her husband that, although she had made comments threatening suicide in the past, she was not attempting to take her own life when she jumped out of the plane on Easter Sunday, April 5, 2015. Victoria Silias pictured in a court sketch giving evidence during the murder trial of her husband Army Sergeant Emile Silias at Winchester Crown Court. Mrs. Silias pictured arriving at court, said although she had made comments threatening suicide in the past, she was not attempting to take her own life when she jumped out of the plane on Easter Sunday, April 5, 2015. On Tuesday, Mrs. Silias was asked about previous comments she had made about threatening suicide as she battled a form of depression and suspicions of her husband's infidelity, asking about her emotions on the day of the jump. Elizabeth Marsh QC, defending, said, How were you feeling on this day? Mrs. Silias replied, Very emotional, upset, not suicidal. Mose Marsh then asked did you do anything either accidentally or intentionally to manipulate your parachute and the physiotherapist answered no. Prosecutor Michael Bose QC said it was common ground that slinks had been removed from the parachute and she was asked by defense counsel if she had been responsible. Former Army Captain Mrs. Silias said yes, I have been asked, no I did not try to kill myself. Emil Silias, 37, pictured arriving at court earlier this week asked if that was her answer and oath, she replied I was not trying to kill myself that afternoon. Mr. Bose also questioned her over evidence in cross-examination where she suggested she could not remember if she used a tool on the gas lever as she investigated a suspected gas leak at their home the week on March 30, 2015. Mrs. Silias, when asked earlier by Ms. Marsh about whether she used the tools, told the jury I tried to see if it was something I could fix. I cannot remember. I could have done. The court previously heard a gas engineer called to the property that day found a loose nut on a gas isolation valve in a cupboard next to the oven. Dried blood was also found on the pipe which the jury has heard was a match for the defendant, who said he used a pair of mole grip adjustable locking pliers to try and tighten the nut before the engineer arrived. Later, Mr. Bose questioned Mrs. Silias over her comments, saying are you just trying to help him the defendant on this point because you think it helps him? The witness replied no I cannot. Remember, you did not use the pliers on anything did you? The prosecutor asked, to which the witness replied I don't remember. Mr. Bose said I'm going to suggest you certainly did not. Mrs. Silias said you can suggest what you like. Two slinks, which attach the lines of the canopy to the rest of the rigging, were missing from one side of the parachute, the court heard, and Mrs. Silias and the prosecution says this means it couldn't be an accident skydiving instructor Mrs. Silias told officers that she found it odd her husband together on their wedding day had taken her hire parachute kit into the toilet at Netheraven Airfield, on Salisbury Plain, Wiltshire, the day before the jump and Mr. Bowes suggested she was unlikely to have done so because she had admitted to to the jury she was not good at DIY, she said it's not DIY, I could not see anything I could influence so I just left it. Mr. Bose said did you wrench that nut, leaving marks on it? No, Mrs. Silias responded, today, Silias' first police interview after his arrest was read out in court and jurors heard, he told officers Mrs. Silias tried to commit suicide before. Silly is denied tampering with a parachute himself, removing anything from the equipment or asking someone to interfere with the kit. 
Then Silius was asked, is it possible your wife interfered with her own parachute? He replied, I'm not going to answer the question. He was asked why and replied, I don't like to think about that. I don't think she would, but I know she had not been in the right frame of mind. She has told me before that she has tried to take her own life before. She told me a while ago when we were chatting. I don't think we were together. I don't know much about it. It was something I just tried to acknowledge and try to blank out. It seemed like she was past that now and was happy. I don't know how she tried to do it. Mrs. Silias was asked about previous comments she had made about threatening suicide. There Silias was also asked about how long he spent in the toilet with the parachute. He said I was in the toilet for two to three minutes maybe. I didn't talk to anyone else in there and there was nobody in there. Silias and officers discussed details about his wife's horrific fall which had happened three weeks earlier. Silias was asked how are you feeling? He replied we both take part in sports and we know the risks. I don't want to have to explain to the kids one day that their mother is not here. We both know she is incredibly lucky. There's only a 0.001% chance of her surviving it, but I don't think that it will get us back together. Regarding messages to lover Stephanie Goller, he told police I messaged Stephanie around about 8 a.m. on WhatsApp, which is about 3 a.m. her time in the USA. If Victoria was going to make coffee I would message then, or if I went to make coffee I would message then. We would talk about anything and everything, holidays we wanted to go on, what we were up to that day, our plans and general relationship stuff. I would message up until midnight and we would send 10 to 20 messages a minute. Earlier the court heard that financial agreements, including a non-legally binding postnuptial agreement and the defendant's family life insurance policy, would only have benefited silly as if his wife were alive. Mrs. Silias had cut her husband out of her will but said it was because she believed the defendant would receive money from the life insurance if she d. Ms. Marsh asked does it come to this, putting the insurance money aside, Emile would have been better off with you alive than you dead, would n't he? Yes, the witness replied. Silias, 37, denies two counts of attempted murder and a third charge of damaging a gas valve recklessly endangering life. The trial continues. Sorry we are not currently accepting comments on this article.